Graphite takes that stuff and essentially uh, encapsulates it and buries it in, engineered, in an engineered form so it'll last for a thousand years. So they're removing that carbon from, from the carbon cycle. And, uh, and they can do it for less than hundred bucks a ton. To just, you know, kind of, yes, in support of that, TerraSet, the nonprofit and CDR that I co-founded, we're, we're purchasers of CDR from, uh, from Graphite. So oh, great. Believers, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And uh, vaulted, uh, you know, at, at 40,000 feet is similar in that they're using a carbon that was removed from the atmosphere by plants, but they are taking, and they're also burying it, but they're taking um, biosolids AKA poop, human poop. That's what's left over after a wastewater treatment. And they're also taking cattle manure and some, in some forms of, uh, in the future, it might be uh, some industrial waste that's heavy in carbon, like from the paper industry. When it, in the paper processing, it can get really toxic. Uh, so then that wouldn't be a fit for graphite. And it's also difficult uh, for the paper companies to figure out what to do with. They take that stuff and they inject it in wells. They essentially reverse frack it, put it in the ground four or 5,000 feet deep in certain geology where we know it's not going to come back up into the water table or, or come out. This similar sorts of geology that's kept oil and gas trapped for 50 million years. And I could keep this stuff trapped for a long time. And again, that removes it from the carbon. In both cases, there's a really important waste management story too. 